Hey guys, Brian with Thunder Laser USA. Had a question from someone about the pass-through and uh, focusing on thicker objects. So I figured I would just do a little video on that. Now, be careful removing this front because it will fall on your toes. So I'm gonna push this out of the way. Now, <clears throat> when using the pass-through, the material is usually going to sit here and on the back uh, of the frame, which takes the Z-axis out of play. So I'm going to let this down and try to simulate that. I do have some wood over here that we're going to see about. So first, let's talk about this. I'm going to release this. You press down and remove it and then turn the knob and you can remove this. Now, there's a stop ring here, and this stop ring is set so that when you insert it all the way up into position, it's calibrated with the focal plane of the Z-axis, meaning when you use autofocus, this is the optimum focus for it. Well, when you put something thick in, and I'm just going to use this to get the point across. I don't know if that'll fit. That'll be close. You'll notice that the head will not focus on the material correctly. So in that instance, what you have to do is remove the head and get your six millimeter Allen wrench and remove this stop. Now I'm not going to remember where I put it because I'm actually going to recalibrate it when I get done and I'll show you about that. So with that stop removed, it will allow the head to go a little bit further into the assembly. So now you can notice that even with something three quarters of an inch and a quarter, uh, it looks like we're still going to be able to get our focus. So now you can put your focus tool down and loosen it back up, drop it down, and now you're focused. So that's how you focus uh, using the pass through device. And when you're done, to get it back where you need it if you want to use your autofocus again. Then you can simply put a piece of material on here. Make sure it doesn't get hung up. And we're going to autofocus. Okay. Now it's auto-focused. I'm probably going to have to take the bed down again because I forgot to do that. Yep, it won't quite come out. So always remember if you want to remove your head, you've got to have your bed down a little bit. So let me remove this. Now what I think I'm going to do is just going to put the stop on there and just let it be loose. And then we'll push this all the way back up push the air assist back in. So let's try that again. Let's autofocus again. Okay, now the autofocus is back where it needs to be, but you'll notice you're way out of focus. And the way to remedy that is to drop the tube down, tighten it back up, and then we can put our stop back up to the very top and tighten it back up and now it's back back to normal so that's how you use the focus and manually focus on something uh, using the pass through or manually focus in general one thing to keep in mind if you have a light burn camera the distance between the camera and the focal point of the bed is important. So if you manually focus like we did, it's going to throw the calibration of the camera off. Now that I have it back in its original position using the autofocus, I know that that's a good reference and I know that my camera is going to be calibrated again. If you happen to change this for some reason or another and change it permanently, then you'll have to recalibrate your camera to the focal point. But Hopefully that'll help, and uh, we'll be back next time with more. Brian from Thunder Laser USA. Have a good day.